Hi, the, hi folks. Uh, we're going to get started in just a few minutes. Um, so just hang tight. Uh, we're going to be getting started at the top of the hour. Hi folks, for those who just joined, we will be getting started uh, in just a few minutes, right at the top of the hour. Uh, for now, we'd love to know where you're coming from. So why don't you let us know in the chat uh, where you are joining us uh, in the world? We'd love to know. Uh, and for those who just joined, we will be getting started right at the top of the hour, um, but we'd love to get those voices in the chat box already. Uh, so let us know where you're coming from. If you do let us know, make sure you type um, everyone uh, or you choose everyone on that chat box so that everyone can see where you're coming from. So Candace, I see you're coming from Minneapolis, Minnesota. So welcome. Love to know where everyone else is joining from. Again, we will be getting started right at the top of the hour. Middletown, New York. Hello, Linda. Mar, Illinois. Now that's a new city I haven't heard of. Welcome, Mar. Oh, Mar is your name. Never mind. Mar, you're from Illinois. Hello from Waldorf, Maryland. Hi, Tim. I'm coming from Washington, D.C. today. I'm at the NAEA headquarters. Maureen, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Richmond, Virginia. Oh, okay. Love me some Richmond. Love. Well, hello. Richmond. Yes. Hello, Daniel from West Hartford, Connecticut. For everyone who just joined, we're going to be getting started probably in about 30 seconds or so, whenever my clock turns to the top of the hour. All right, by my clock, it is 2 p.m. Eastern. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone to today's uh, partner webinar, Pathway to Enrolled Agent, sponsored by Surgeon, with our speaker, Maureen Scott. Please note that this Zoom webinar is being recorded, uh, so we will be releasing the recording um, on YouTube after this is over. My name is Erin Mosier. I'm the Director of Education at NAEA, and I will be today's webinar moderator. Uh, before we get started, I just want to go over a few housekeeping items. Uh, first one, to ask questions of our speaker on the content today, uh, please use the Q&A feature found at the bottom of your Zoom client. Uh, we're going to get to those questions at the end of this presentation. If you have any questions about the Zoom platform or NAEA, you can go ahead and put those in the chat box, and I'll be monitoring both throughout the webinar. Um, and just remember, and you guys are already doing a great job at this, if you're making a comment for the whole audience to see, make sure you choose everyone from um, your Zoom client when you're typing in the chat. Uh, momentarily, I'll be putting the materials uh, for today's webinar in the chat in case you miss them, um, but I will do that right after my introduction. So again, thank you all for joining us today for NAEA's partner webinar, Pathway to Enrolled Agent, sponsored by Surgent with speaker Maureen Scott. Uh, Maureen is the subject matter expert with SME and senior solution architect for Surgent Income Tax School. With her wealth of knowledge and experience, she is uniquely qualified to provide guidance and strategy on tax education courses and resources. For the past 12 years, she has helped individuals creating pathways to a tax career and business owners develop training plans using the Surgent curriculum. She also works with colleges and universities, either by promoting their programs through workforce or continuing education, or using the materials in the classroom. And then my favorite part of any speaker's bio is outside of work, Maureen serves on a local nonprofit board in her community. She enjoys concerts and live theater, gaming, travel, and learning new things, which right now is how to make the perfect strawberry pie. So it is my, well, it's my pleasure to welcome you, Maureen, and I'll let you take it away. Oh, thank you, Erin. Hi, hello, and welcome, everybody. I am so excited to be here, and I just really appreciate y'all taking the time to spend with me and kind of walk through the pathway to becoming an enrolled agent. So before we get started, if you can go ahead and hit that chat button now, let me know where you are in your pathway to the enrolled agent journey. Are you just getting started? Do you want to learn more about the process, what you need to do to become an enrolled agent? Do you have some individual or small business tax knowledge and you're looking to see how you can apply that critically to exam style questions for the EA? Where are you? 
in your journey on becoming a pathway to the enrolled agents? Let me know in the comments. So as we get started, I'm just going to be walking through today how you can walk, how you can look to become an enrolled agent and the pathway that we've created and cultivated here with Surgeon Income Tax School. So before I get started, a lot of times people ask me like, what is an enrolled agent? So you know, an enrolled agent, as you can see on your screen, is, is a federally authorized tax practitioner who has technical expertise in the field of taxation and who is empowered by the U.S. Department of the Treasury to represent taxpayers before all administrative levels of the IRS for audits, collections, and appeals. Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But don't worry, it's a really great opportunity for you as a tax preparer to become an enrolled agent because it allows you to really be the best advocate for your client in all area administrative levels of the IRS. The enrolled agent designation is also the highest credential one can earn in the tax preparer industry. So we'll talk about this a little bit more in the presentation, but when you're looking to become a tax preparer, people look to strive to become an enrolled agent because it gives you unlimited representation rights before the IRS, which is key and critical in terms of really maximizing yourself as a tax preparer, maximizing your additional revenue streams, maximizing yourself as an advocate for clients and being able to do the things you want to really best grow your business, or best within a company, best grow that business as well. But everyone always asks, like, why should I become an enrolled agent? You know, I'm happy as a tax preparer. I work with my clients. Maybe I don't want to go through and do that, you know, extra work, so to speak, to become an enrolled agent. There are so many great opportunities for you and why you should become one. So we took a look at the LA Times and they said, over the next decade, tax preparers are projected to be among the fastest growing occupations. The fastest growing occupations. As tax laws and regulations become more and more complex, more people turn to tax preparation services for assistance. However, because this is seasonal work, January to April, opportunities are limited during the rest of the year. And here's the key thing to remember. Enrolled agents are more likely to have year-round jobs. When you're an enrolled agent, you're not just going to be looking at focusing during that initial tax season, which is traditionally known through at end of January through the April deadline. You can be able to have work all throughout the course of the year. And also, you can actually increase your income by becoming an enrolled agent, as you can see on the screen, you know, depending on average enrolled agent earnings by state, you know, you're looking at a national average of, you know, $29.77. That's $61,000 a year looking to become an enrolled agent. There's a lot of other good reasons to become an enrolled agent as well. But the big thing that people talk about is the representation piece when you're an enrolled agent. We'll talk about this again more in, in the presentation, but think about it like this. When you're, when you're a tax preparer and you're working with your client's tax returns, you'll work through them, submit them, of course, electronically to the IRS. But if there's a problem with that tax return, if there's an issue, not necessarily even with your own client, but somebody else's client who's not an enrolled agent, you can act on the taxpayer's behalf and also protecting the taxpayer's rights. It's really important to remember that if you have unlimited representation rights with the IRS, like enrolled agents do, they can go through and really advocate for their taxpayer. And then also communicating with the IRS with the taxpayer regarding their rights and abilities under laws and regulations administered by the IRS. Really making sure you're putting yourself in that position to be the go-between, the advocate for your client and really representing them to the best with the IRS. Also preparing filing necessary documents, advising the taxpayer on the return position, meaning this is where you stand right now on this return. These are the issues that we see. This is the things we need to look to advocate for with the IRS. And then also you get to represent the taxpayer at hearings with the IRS and examinations, collections, and appeals. So you can see that representation piece. If you can add that to your practice, how that could be not only a great benefit for your clients, but also additional revenue stream. So I talk about like, what is representation before the IRS? And I really want you to think about it in these terms. If you are a non-credentialed tax preparer, you do not have any representation rights with the IRS. Now work with me with this visual. Picture it like you're actually physically walking into an IRS building. If you're a non-credentialed tax preparer, you would walk up to that building, try to open the door and it's locked. You can't get in. You don't have any representation rights. So if your client has a problem with their return, they are gonna need to go to somebody else an enrolled agent, if you're not one, it's gonna be somebody else to represent them with the IRS. Now there's also limited representation rights for credentialed tax preparers, including things like the, the annual filing season program record of completion holders. Those people can actually picture that same visual I gave you. They can walk through that IRS store, go to the front desk and speak to somebody 
at the administrative desk and answer basic questions. So you're able to get in the door and get those basic questions answered. If you're an enrolled agent, you have unlimited representation rights. That means you can walk through that door, go to that front desk, check in and be sent back to speak to somebody with the IRS in that visual I presented for you. It allows you to be able to have that unlimited representation right and get the questions answered. There's not gonna be any barriers to entry for you because you don't have the enrolled agent designation, okay? Here's one of the things that I always get asked in terms of enrolled agents is that when people say, well, I thought I needed to get a college degree to become an enrolled agent. I thought I need additional education. Applicants do not need a degree to become an enrolled agent. And the cost of the SEE exam, the special enrollment exam, there's three parts, is still relatively inexpensive compared to other professional examinations at 185 per exam part. And here's the thing to remember, an enrolled agent has the same practice privileges before the IRS as a CPA or attorney. So that's the representation part, right? So it's not in terms of, you're not gonna be a lawyer with the IRS, of course, but you still have the same representation rights as somebody who's a CPA, as somebody who's an attorney with the IRS. One of the things to remember too, is if you're an enrolled agent, you're a federally authorized tax practitioner who can practice anywhere in the US. That means you can go, if I decide I'm in Virginia, and I have tax clients, but maybe I want to move to Idaho. I can move to Idaho and still service those clients as an enrolled agent. I don't have to be licensed specifically by my state. So enrolled agents can go anywhere to practice. And that's what makes it a really attractive credential and something to really strive for. So everyone said like, you know, this sounds great, Maureen. Like it sounds like it's something I'm interested in doing. I want to be able to explore this opportunity, the pathway to the EA, but I'm really not sure where to get started. So Let's talk about surgeon income tax school. So we provide course content to learn how to prepare taxes for both the individual tax returns and small business. So whether you're a true beginner or already have some tax knowledge, there's a pathway for you to become an enrolled agent. So here's the thing. It's important to really note this. There's a difference between learning taxes and earning a credential, and that's why we pair them together. Learn taxes plus earn a credential. So we have um, surgeon income tax school, which teaches the content of individual and small business taxes. We have Surgeon EA Review that teaches you how to pass the three parts of the EA exam. They don't, the e, Surgeon EA Review does not teach you how to interpret tax law, prepare tax returns or research tax issues, but taking courses with Surgeon Income Tax School plus Surgeon EA Review can lead to success on that pathway to the enrolled agent, right? Because when you're looking at standardized testing, there's three C's. There's content, critical thinking and crisis prevention. Surgeon Income Tax School really focuses on that content. Surgeon EA Review takes that content and applies it critically to EA, SEE exam style review questions, and then also teaches you those crisis prevention skills. Things like when you hear, I'm not a good test taker, really using the adaptive technology with Surgeon EA Review allows you to work through that and become that test taker that you're meant to be. Well, let's start with Surgeon Income Tax School, our comprehensive or our beginner tax course. So when you're looking to study, if you haven't had any kind of formal training, you know, standardized training, because, you know, uh, Surgeon Income Tax School is the nationwide leader in tax training. And so if you haven't had any kind of standardized curriculum training in individual tax, I recommend the comprehensive tax course. It has 16 chapters and upon completion, a student can complete most individual tax returns. What's great about our course is that it does not assume any previous prior tax knowledge, which is always a barrier to entry because there is the belief that you're like, I have to know all these things before I can even take a tax course. And you really don't. You know, tax preparation, to get started, you need to have basic math skills, right? And so when you're looking at our courses, we teach you how to prepare tax returns and research tax issues. And that's key. So if you are on the call, if you're on my presentation with me right now, and you've done tax returns, and you understand how important those research skills are, right? Because you're going to be visiting that IRS website year after year to do research on some tax returns. You're also going to be able to, as I said, prepare tax returns and research tax issues for more form 1040 individual, non-business, plus the basics of Schedule C and self-employment returns. Self-employment returns have become really big in the past couple of years as a lot of people have decided to take their entrepreneurship journey and be able to develop their own income streams in self-employment. And then also it really, our courses have been revised with, you know, pointers that you can appreciate as useful and practical, and also really focusing on what's going to be the important things you need to know to work through an individual tax return. We also have certificate programs, 
that kind of take all the courses in individual and small business taxes so that if you're working towards um, looking at put things in a bundle or comprehensive and small business courses for the charter tax consultant or charter tax professional or certificate programs that we do offer um, that take into account all of our curriculum and also reward you for doing the practical application of your experience or work hours as well. So our certificate programs are the charter tax consultant and charter tax professional programs. Um, they're in-house certificate programs that are designed to really harness in all of the knowledge that you're going to have and show how you really being able to set yourself apart in terms of all the studying of content that you've done to really be an advocate for your clients. Now, I talked about this before, we're gonna walk through it again. You know, once I have that content, whether it be in individual taxes, whether it be in small business taxes, what does it take to pass the EA exam? And this is where we talk about the content, critical thinking and crisis prevention, the three C's of standardized testing. You have to remember that standardized testing is designed to reward you and that it performs almost mechanically. Unlike some tests you might have had in the past, standardized testing, there's one right or three wrong, or one right and four wrong. There's not two maybes. And really being able to approach the testing and see exactly like what's the question asking, reading through the STEM, walking through your answer choices, applying the answers critically, because you're gonna take that content knowledge that you have and you're gonna bring it to the forefront and really harness those critical thinking skills to walk through the exams. And this is where Surgeon EA Review comes into play. So I talked about Surgeon Income Tax School. I talked about how we have courses, both in individual taxes and also small business taxes. And this is where we have the Surgeon EA Review. So remember the EA exam is more of a test on how good of a task test taker you are. And that's why I said Surgeon Income Tax School really focuses on learning learning taxes, Surgeon EA Review really focuses on how to pass this exam, right? And that's why it's so important to remember that studying for the EA exam is not the same as learning taxation, but working with Surgeon Income Tax School and Surgeon EA Review, you can learn taxes plus work towards earning a credential, the pathway to the EA. And the examiners just keep adding content to this exam. The major review courses have not changed the learning approach in decades. We focus our approach on adaptive learning. So we focus on becoming an enrolled agent take, comes down to two things, combining your tax knowledge with test taking skills. And that's why we have our charter tax professional program that focuses on individual and small business taxes, that content plus our EA review ultimate pass works towards the pathway to the enrolled agent and the highest designation with the IRS. And this just gives you some initial pricing of our re of retail pricing that we have. Um, for your investment to become an enrolled agent, you know, looking to see like what the course content, what it costs. But the big thing for NAEA is that you, we have a special program with NAEA and I'll be sending everybody more information regarding the pathway to the EA, including discount codes and including things like this. If you're interested in learning about content, learning about individual taxes, learning about small business taxes, then we have a free trial for Surgeon Income Tax School's comprehensive tax course. We also have a free trial for Surgeon EA review course. I'll be sending both of those to um, Erin and NAE and she'll be putting it out to you, letting you know that you can test both of these, right? Just to see how you like the product and program. Really important to look at in terms of the benefits that we have with both of these. And so I always say that if you're looking at doing a free trial or looking to do any kind of program, whether you're learning, looking how to do content or looking how to do more so exam review, I wanna know what the product looks like. I wanna know the look and the feel. I wanna take it for a test drive. And so that's why I always recommend to do a free trial. So we'll get this information out to you. You can take a look at both of those free trials and really get the look and feel and decide, you know, this is where I wanna start my journey with the pathway to the EA. And so this is a link for you to learn more about the NAEA Insurgent Partnership, and you'll be receiving a copy of this slide deck. You know, mostly what I do in these presentations is that I make them to a point where I go over some key information, and then I really decide to take questions, like really kind of walk through and say, what questions does the audience have and how can I best support you in your learning journey? So, you know, this was a, a brief summary to start, but I'm looking forward to the questions to see what people have in terms of starting their journey with the pathway to the EA. So walk me through everybody, you know, what questions do you have? How can I be of assistance? All right, we already have, um, oh, 
just a reminder for anyone to put questions in um, the chat box or the Q&A box. I'm looking at both. Uh, Maureen is available, obviously, to take questions. Um, when you asked your first question, Maureen, about um, what type of or where they are in their journey, we've got um, some folks who have employees who are interested in becoming an EA. So they wanted to come onto this webinar and learn a little bit more about it. We've got someone who is new to tax prep. Uh, and then we have someone who is coming back that they started their process um, in 2020. And then obviously COVID kind of changed the world. So they are just now coming back to um, starting up their process again in studying for the C exam. So let's start with, you know, you have, I think I see the question here. Cheryl had a question. I have employees that are interested in becoming enrolled agents. A lot of times when you have employees who are interested, it's really great to get them into a, a, a curriculum, right? A path that they can kind of work through this journey together. So depending on where your employees are in their journey in terms of learning, you really want to assess first, like have they had experience doing individual tax returns? Have they had experience doing small business tax returns? What kind of courses have they taken? A lot of times when we've learned tax preparation and put in the comments, if you agree, you know, some, some people have had a curriculum, they've taken courses and some people have done more on the job training, right? So if you've had more of on the job training, it's important maybe sometimes to go back and really take a, a standardized course, you know, walking through and really learning the ins and the outs of tax preparation. So walking through like search of income tax school, we're in online self-study, self-paced courses where you're gonna be reading material, printing out material, working through learning activities, review questions, quizzes and tests offline, plug in the answers back in online for automated grading. Our courses are designed in a scaffold learning approach and that after every chapter of reading, there's gonna be study questions that are gonna kind of test the reading what you've really comprehended within that reading, then you're going to be doing learning activities, which is really going to be working through parts of tax returns. After every two chapters, there's a quiz. After every four chapters, there's a final exam. So I think I also answered Judith's question in that as well. It's all online. And what's great about that is that we have surgeon ITS supports so that if students have questions, they can email those questions. And then the instructors can walk them through where they can find the information in the course or where they can find it on the IRS website. You know, and that's why if you're interested in search of income tax school in our courses, that's why I highly recommend doing the free trial. So you can actually see like with the comprehensive course, you can see the first module of our curriculum. So you can see exactly how it looks and feels. You can see all the forms and worksheets. You can see how the chapters are done in like a slideshow fashion, because we all can agree sometimes that tax can be really intimidating for some people. But if you break it up into manageable chunks, which is what we do with our reading, it really allows the student to walk through their material in bite-sized pieces and really be able to comprehend. Part of what I do as a, a senior solution architect is I build foundations. And with Surgeon Income Tax School, really walking through both learning comprehensive individual tax return or small business, our one and two courses, really focusing on small business partnerships, C-Corps, F-Corps, really walking through both of those gives that solid foundation so that when you're doing your tax law updates each year, when you're doing your continuing education and really focusing or honing in more on courses, that's where that solid foundation is gonna be beneficial. And especially if you're looking at working towards the EA, you know, how long is the EA study? Can I access study materials until I take the IRS exam? You can, the big thing to remember is with the EA, I recommend Mar to go through and do the, the, the free trial with the EA review because you'll be able to see how it works as an adaptive process. And adaptive testing is really great, right? Because it's different than linear in that it adapts to you. So as you're getting more questions right in a topic that you're familiar with, it's going to focus more of your energy on topics that you're not as familiar with. With linear learning, it seems like you can sometimes learn things at the same pace, but you need to take that test taking skill up a level with that adaptive learning. And that's what's really nice about the Surgeon EA programs. And so starting the journey, looking at the free trial to start, really important to take a look. Also, there's a benefit with NAEA and that we do offer the free part one for EA review. Um, so we can take a look at getting you information on that as well. What other questions do we have? So one question we have in uh, or in the Q and A box is: Is there a Surgeon Income Tax School 
content and EA exam review bundle. So can you buy them all at one time, maybe perhaps for a discount or for bundled or how does that work? No, that's a fantastic question. So what we can do is that we have information on um, NAEA site where it walks you through where you can purchase for the Surgeon Income Tax School and Surgeon EA review. So what I'll do is when I send that um, email, I always send out an email um, after these presentations, I'll put together links of exactly where you can do that. And I think it's a great idea, especially if you're gonna have access until you pass for the Surgeon EA review by taking a course like our Charter Tax Consultant or Charter Tax Professional Programs and the, the curriculum that's gonna walk you through individual, advanced individual and small business taxes. And you can also have the Surgeon EA review course right along with it. So you could start studying for the individual using our comprehensive course then start taking the EA review part one and go for, go from there. So we'll put together some information because you know you are with NAEA and you have some great benefits and special packaging. I wanna make sure I send the right links and I'll go ahead and do that. But I think that's a fantastic idea. And that's why part one is included with an associate membership. That's why, and this is, a, this is not a benefit that, I honestly think it's one of the only associations that even has this benefit that part one is included and that's huge if it's included you should take advantage of it if you're an associate member and if you have employees have them become associate members and that investment in themselves an investment you know becoming an associate member with NAEA look at the benefit you're going to receive by getting the EA review so I definitely think it's a win-win for everybody We have another question is um, how is the EA different from the RTRP test? Oh, that's a good question. So RTRP back in what, 2011 to 2013, uh, when the, the court decided that, you know, they, they was not going to be allowed anymore. I think RTRP is more similar to the annual filing season program record of completion, right? In terms of having a test where you're testing the knowledge of testing basic knowledge where I think the EA testing is gonna be much more expansive in terms of doing a broader picture of all the different elements of individual and all the different elements of small business. I think that with annual filing season program record of completion, it really is geared towards more of a beginner to inter, you know, a beginner status more so than looking at the EA review, which is a really comprehensive because it's the highest designation with the IRS because they have the representation that's taken very seriously. And really the testing process, you know, once you learn how to test and you have the content, you have the critical thinking and crisis prevention skills, you know, you can sit for that exam, but the knowledge you're going to need to become an enrolled agent, that's huge. And I think that's where the differences lie. We have another question, which I think is actually a, a very good and very valid question. So one of your slides said that the um, expected salary is about 61K. But the, you know, as we're seeing in the industry, the need for taxes is growing and the amount of people who are doing taxes is decreasing. So do you think, or what do you expect that salary to do? Do you, do you see that it could grow in the coming years? Yes, I do. Um, I put that, and it's actually a really great question. Um, I'm always, when I look at presentations, I never want to put everything on the super high end of, of anything, right? In terms of you can make, you know, a million zillion dollars on something, right? Because I think it sets unrealistic expectations. But from one of the things that I had read, the average age of a tax, a tax preparer, I believe was in the 47 to 48 years old. And so you're going to be seeing that we need to really start recruiting younger tax preparers. And I do believe as people are retiring, as people are deciding, you know, not to come back to becoming a tax preparer for whatever host of reasons, I think there's going to be a great need for tax preparers. I think there's going to be even a bigger need for enrolled agents. And I do think that income can increase 100%, especially if you're going to look at this in terms of working a full, full time as an enrolled agent. With that salary averages that you saw, that does include people who are EAs part time as well as full time, right? So keeping that in mind, I do think that the income revenue stream can definitely increase. And I think that as you market yourself as an enrolled agent with all of these things you can do, especially in the representation category, I think that by doing this pathway to the EA, definitely think it can in add to your revenue stream, definitely can see an increase in income. Does that logic resonate? I think so. Yeah. Um, but I'll let our anonymous, anonymous attendee who asked that question, uh, <laughs> comment. I liked it. Oh, good. Thank you, anonymous attendee. All so, right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, we did just have another question come in. Um, I heard the surge in income tax school business tax courses covers S Corp, C Corp partnerships, and LLCs. Is that yes? Correct? That is correct. So walking through our small business one and two, we do cover S Corp, C Corp partnerships, and LLCs. What I really like about our courses in general is that it's not just read information and take a test. It really focuses on that practice. You know, our unique selling proposition is practical application, really having you work through the problems. Software is only as good as the operator behind the wheel. If you don't have the tax law, tax knowledge, or tax theory, you're not going to be the best advocate for your clients. You really need to have that knowledge. And that's why I like how, you know, with Surgeon Income Tax School in our individual courses and our small business, and I get a lot of requests for small business because Sometimes people say, you know, I, I kind of got some learn, kind of had some education with the firm or, you know, that I worked through with individual kind of did on the job training, but I don't have a lot of that access to training for small business. I like how our courses break everything down into manageable chunks. I like the practical application and I like how at the end you really feel like you're taking away some valuable skill sets in small business. Like that's to me, super important. All right, and the questions keep coming. So does the course material cover other procedural items or just tax prep? So for example, uh, this person's thinking of resolving taxpayer issues, responding to correspondence, trying to teach PPL, or resources for how to go about these kinds of things. So this all sounds like a lot of the practice management or practice education parts of being an EA. It does sound like that. I did, I did like the question where it says like you're trying to reach people like it's in chuckling. I can agree with that. So I think we focus a lot about how to prepare the tax returns, but I can direct resources to say Surgeon CE um, with, with looking at particular seminars regarding tax, resolving taxpayer issues. We do have a CE seminar that does cover that in a little bit more detail, but also too, I'll be sending out um, in an email I'll craft, I'll send the learning objectives by chapter for both the comprehensive or individual tax course, as well as the small business course. So you can see exactly what's covered in those two courses. Because that's what I like to know, right? Like if I'm taking a course when someone's like, we cover small business and we cover these topics, but like, what do you cover in those topics? Like, do you just say this is what a corporation is and give a basic definition? We don't do that. We really go in depth, but in an easy to understand way. Our courses are written by tax preparers, right? Who prepare tax returns. So they, so it comes with, you know, scenarios that they have encountered. And it also comes in easy to understand language. You know, what I also like too about our course is the fact that we just added some video, like frequently asked questions. A lot of times in courses, we've kept getting the same questions and we really wanted to take that uh, and really do some like five minute pop-up videos to walk through. So like, that's what I think is great about not only having a self-study self-paced course, you know, because sometimes with online learning, what I always say, and I didn't I think I might've seen this question, but I'll address it just in case it didn't pop up. One of the biggest concerns people have about online courses is they're like, nothing's going to motivate me to do an online course, right? And I want you to remember in any online course, the biggest advice I can give you is plan the work and work the plan. Whether you're on the pathway to the EA learning content, whether you're on the pathway to the EA learning exam prep skills, really going through and once you get into a course, plan your schedule, allow your time, self time to study and block it in just like you would block in going to the gym, block in taking that walk, block in doing that activity, really planning and creating your own syllabus has been one of the key things that when I advise students has been really helpful and successful in their journey. Do you have a site for new EAs looking to join or buy an existing practice? I will turn that over to NAEA. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do not uh, currently, but what we do see a lot of our members doing uh, is posting on our member only Facebook or our member only web board when there is an opportunity like that. Um, and then really utilizing the NAEA network um, to get the word out or if they're looking to buy an existing practice um, to kind of get feelers out there. Uh, that is a members only benefit. Uh, so you do have to be a member in order to access that um, webinar or that um, web board and Facebook. Um, and I did just want to say, because Maureen was just talking about um, some of the practice education offerings that Surgeon has, is that as an uh, NAEA member as well, you get an additional discount to all of Surgeon CPE. So not just the ITS or the C prep program, but any CE that Surgeon offers. And so that's another uh, great thing just to, to plug and make sure that um, you guys know. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And oh, to answer some other questions like that I saw. So 
I saw somebody who said like I had started my EA journey and then I kind of put it on pause due to the pandemic. You can always go look to start and go back. When you look at doing a, you know, the free trial for the NAE, you know, for the part one, I would just go back and look at the free trial and see if it's something that you have interest. And then of course, with NAE, you, as an associate member, you get part one for free. So if that, I mean, that's even a bigger reason to be like, let's get back, let's get started back on that journey, right? Let's go back through and take that assessment and let's go through and see how we can work through a path and create, you know, a, a study plan for you within that, within that software. So this has been great. I love these questions. So, you know, as, as we're, you know, still here answering questions, but, you know, might be coming to a close, I want to make sure, did I answer all your questions about the pathway to the EA? Is there anything else I can address for you? You know, I'll also make sure you have my contact information so you can address me offline. You know, with these presentations, my goal is to give you like a little snippet or a share of what Surgeon offers so that you get excited and you're like, I want to try the free trials on these products. I want to see what's going to fit for myself or for my staff or for anyone who's interested in becoming on the pathway. You know, but mostly what I really enjoy is connecting with you and figuring out how I can best help you, each one of you, even on this call, be successful on your pathway to the EA journey. And I did see a question about um, scale of fees and Maureen, in an email we send out um, tomorrow, uh, we'll have some, some more information about that because remember what you see on the commercial website um, for Surgeon does not take into account the NAEA discounts if you're a member. So just as a reminder for that. That's why it's really, that's why I keep mentioning that we're gonna do an email because I want you to wait for that. I want you to wait for it in terms of like looking at the free trial links. And I want you to wait for it in terms of where you can see exactly on the NAEA site where your benefits are with you know the surgeon courses, whether you're doing surgeon income tax school, whether you're doing surgeon EA review, whether you're looking at surgeon continuing education or surgeon CE, any one of those products with you know being a strategic partner with NAEA, it allows us to be able to bring a host of offerings to you, you know, whether you're just starting the journey or continuing on that pathway to the EA. All right, well, we'll give it maybe another minute to give anyone another opportunity to ask any last minute questions. I did go ahead and put the link to Surgeon's website just for anyone who's interested in learning a little bit about their products before, we, uh, before you get those NAEA specific links tomorrow. Okay, yes. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, oh, Great. is the material available? Yes, it is. Hold on one second. I will post that link again. Give me one second here. All right, everyone, there's the link to the, um, the presentation from today. So make sure that um, you, can, you can review that on your own. This was recorded um, and we will be posting it on YouTube if you have anyone you wanna share it with. Um, there is another question. Do you always have access to the material, the surgeon material, I believe? I don't think they're talking about this material. Um, <laughs> Or is it always? Yes. Yeah, so Heidi, you will have access. It um, de depends on the program, whether it's Surgeon Income Tax School or Surgeon EA Review. Um, it lists the term limits in terms of how long you have access. So for content courses, usually for the comprehensive or beginner tax course, you're looking at six months. For small business one and two, small business one is three months, small business two is three months. And then with your EA Review, whether you're looking at your ultimate or, or premier packages, you're access to pass. So it just depends on the product, but happy to answer those questions for you. Oh, one more thing. My email address is scottm at theincometaxschool.com. That's scottm at theincometaxschool.com. If you have any questions before the email comes out to you tomorrow, feel free to reach out. And once again, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today doing this. This is really appreciated. Oh, and I see a question. Is there any time limit to complete all three exams to complete the EA? Uh, once you complete part one, you have two years to complete the remaining two parts. I love these last minute questions. That's great. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's why and everyone always asks, you know, in terms of presentations, like I really love this part of it because I really want everyone to think about like the journey. And so when, as I see more questions coming through, the, the questions you're asking are like, I really am in, interested now, right? I want to, I, I really want to explore this pathway to the EA, whether it's going to be for myself or whether it's going to be for my employees. So this is keep the questions coming. <laughs> yeah. All right, last call. Anyone else have any last minute questions? All 
All right. Well, oh, well, there, and we got another one. <laughs> <laughs> what is the validity of EA certification? Okay. So like walking through, as you go through and look at the presentation again, one of the things to remember is that the EA credential is the highest designation awarded by the IRS and gives you unlimited representation rights with the IRS. That's why I think it's really important because it allows you to really be able to be the best advocate for your clients, right? It does, there's not any barrier between, between your client and the IRS because you are their go-between. You are the one who's representing them. And because you're an EA, you'll be able to represent them in all facets and assets. That's why I think the validity of an EA certification, um, but I'll let NAEA also chime in if they have any additional information. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what I would say here is um, to talk to an EA in your area and really get a better understanding from them about what that credential has meant for them and how it shaped their career and how it really defines their, their practice and the work they do and how it differentiates them from the CPAs, the CFPs, and just the unlicensed tax preparers as well. Um, and I will just say that on the NAEA website, we have a find a tax expert tool. It's free to the public, everyone can use it. And it actually will show you um, a large number of EAs in your area. So if you live in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, for example, you can search all the EAs in your area and maybe reach out to one or two and just say, hey, wanna grab a coffee? I, I'd love to learn more about your practice and how you have used the EA career and credential um, to benefit you. So that, that's my one little plug for it um, because you can't really know until you talk to an EA themselves about what it means and how it has helped them um, over the years. And, and then also, to, oh, sorry, Erin, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, Maureen. I was just gonna say there's another question. So uh, and <laughs> follow up and then we'll do the question. I was just gonna say this, like, Aaron brought up a really good point in terms of, you know, going through and having conversations with EAs, but also made me think about this. Really understanding, like, when you're an enrolled agent, you focus solely on taxes, right? When you're a CPA, that's one part of the four parts that you focus on for that exam and also potentially in practice. I didn't realize before I started entering this field just how important it would be for me to have an enrolled agent. And I do have an enrolled agent who does my taxes because they are immersed in tax preparation, whereas in other in other designations, that's just a part of what they do. EAs, that's all they really do. And I say, oh, that's a big all. Oh, that's a big thing because I want somebody who's got that expert level. I want somebody who's been taking the time to go through and earn a designation. I want somebody who's really invested in their clients by doing this and having all that knowledge. There's a lot to learn and know about tax. And that I want somebody who's making that investment in themselves and their investment ultimately in me because they want to be the best advocate for a client. So that's why I say like the validity of the EA certification. And then once you have it and explain that to potential taxpayers, why they should be coming to you, why they should be coming to an EA. I mean, I want somebody who knows every, you know, who knows a lot about tax. It's not just a part or, you know, a, a portion of what they really do. And our anonymous attendee does make a good point that there are a lot of CPAs who get their EA just so they have the ability to practice in all states, because that is the one thing that the EA credential has that none of the other ones do, is that it is nationwide and you can practice anywhere. I love our anonymous attendee. I really, you know, part of one of the things we talk, I've talked about in other webinars that I've done is that, you know, there's, there's a myth buster in terms of the EA versus the CPA. And a lot of times CPAs will want, you know, either while they're practicing or when they decide to retire, will get their EA so they can continue because they want to move to different states. They don't necessarily want to be in the same state that they were, were in, in the, in their career. So I like the fact that becoming an EA allows you to be flexible and portable in your career. I like, I like the fact that you don't have to be just certified in that particular state. So I think it's a really great opportunity. And I think that sometimes when people hear it's a certification, it's going to be a lot of steps. It's a well worthwhile investment, you know, that, in terms of what you can do with your career, what you can do to maximize your earning potential, what you can do to be, you know, working with clients. I think it's just a really great win-win. All right, maybe we'll do our final last call for questions. <laughs> <laughs> but I love these questions. I know Anonymous, they're great. Attendee. Anonymous attendee, you're doing great. I thank you. I hope I'm answering these questions in the way that make that the logic resonates and you guys are really getting excited about exploring the pathway to the EA. 
All right, well, we'll leave it up just for a little bit. See if anything comes in. So I'll just say this, everybody. I hope you all have enjoyed this presentation today. Thank you so much for the interaction and all of their great questions. Please make sure to send any feedback to NAEA. Let them know how I did. I love being able to see you know, how the information that we present, how it really resonates with attendees. And if you have any suggestions for things that I could add in the future to these kinds of presentations, happy to take those as well. But you know, thank you so much for making the time to sit with us today and kind of walk through this. It's very much appreciated. And I wish you all the very best in your journey for the pathway to the EA. Before we close, I do just wanna let you all know that NAEA has quarterly EA career panels. Um, our next one is gonna be in September. Registration is open now. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the chat. And that's where you can hear from someone who is studying for the C, hear from a new EA, as well as EAs who do rep as well, and other work to really get a broad understanding of the career, the steps it takes to become an EA and the struggle that the testing can take and studying can take. Um, so I encourage you all to register for that or um, send it to anyone you know who is interested. I'm putting that link in the chat right now, but you can also find it on the NAEA website. Um, I want to thank Maureen for her time today um, and for all of you for attending. Um, thank you all for this wonderful webinar and for your wonderful questions. Please note that today's program has been recorded and will be available as an archive show shortly. We'll make sure to include that link in your follow-up email. So in case you want to send it to anyone you know who might be interested in the EA career or the surgeon programs. Um, if you have any questions or concerns regarding this webinar, you can contact NAEA at education at NAEA.org. This concludes today's program. Thank you very much and see you all on the next one. Thanks, everybody.